Hi, I'm Ed Alexander, founder of the Entrepreneurship Law Firm. In this video, we're going to talk about what work, what legal work needs to be completed prior to taking on an investor. So the first and perhaps most important thing is to create the right capital structure and to put in place a founder's agreement. Now, these two things are important because, hey, we need to have a, the right number of shares in order to be able to bring on the investor and issue those number of shares to the investor. We need to have the capital structure necessary to give the investor the protections, the preferred type of uh, arrangements that they're going to want to have to know that they get their money out first of the deal. Next, the founder's agreement is critical because we want to make sure that no shareholder can put a veto on growth or a sale of the business. We want provisions in there that make sure that if the majority wants uh, a particular course of action, that that can happen and that we don't have uh, one guy who owns 5% who says no and demands a greater share of the stake than his 5%. When we have sweat equity shareholders or sweat equity founders, it's even more important because we need to know that as we give those shares uh, to those founders that they're going to pay the taxes that are due on those shares and at the same time uh, that they're going to follow through and do what they say they're going to do. Uh, unfortunately, I see a lot of entrepreneurs who come into my office with a, a former partner of theirs or former co-founder co who said that they would code the software, build the website, whatever the case may be. They never did it, and there they sit holding 20 or 25 percent of the capital stock of the company. And that's just a drain on everybody. And then finally, we, in the founders agreement, we need to have management provisions. We need to make sure that uh, there is a specific number of members of the board of directors that the founders hold certain key positions unless they do something wrong uh, and that everything uh, gets taken care of there. Now, uh, in terms of completing items, we also need to make sure that the intellectual property of the business and all of its key assets are actually transferred to the corporation uh, by a bill of sale so that the corporation is the owner. Investors typically will not put their money into companies where one of the founders owns the intellectual property. Now, this is a little bit different when you talk about university intellectual property, such as uh, patents and things like that that are coming out of university. Uh, in that case, what we would do is have a license from the university to the corporation, uh, and it would go forward on that basis. And then, of course, we need employment agreements with key players. We need to make sure that our team is on board and can't uh, decide after uh, everybody's put in a bunch of work to leave. We want to make sure that if they do leave, that there is a, uh, a pretty serious negative side effect to that or negative effect to that. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, in our next video, I'm going to talk about the offering documents that you need for a private placement and uh, how to uh, make sure that you're in compliance.